welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Casey and I like to talk about fitness and beauty and a few things in between. So if that sounds like your jam, hit that subscribe button and keep on watching. So today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about thought exercise that I use when I'm experiencing a lot of anxiety. Anxiety is something that I have struggled with um, for as long as I can remember. I mean, even when I was a, a kid. And so I have developed a lot of coping mechanisms to help me get through. This exercise is something that I came up with on my, on my own. I came up with it a couple years ago when I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. There was a point that it was very, very low where I was, it was like this vicious cycle of my fibromyalgia being in pain would cause me a lot of anxiety and in turn, anxiety would cause more pain. So it was like this vicious cycle. It, it, it was just a very low point in my life. And so I think I developed this exercise around that time. I don't know if it's going to help others, maybe some people will think that it's silly, dumb, not helpful, whatever, but I, I just feel like if it's something that helped me, there's potential that it could help someone else, so I just want to share it with you today. My anxiety is something that I, that I still do struggle with, I, think I probably will for the rest of my life, but days when my anxiety is at its highest, this is an exercise that I keep coming back to and it just really, really helps me. I don't want to say snap out of it because anxiety is not something you can just snap out of or turn on or turn off, but it just, it helps me to think clearly and it refocuses my energy and refocuses my attention and gives me a little bit of direction when I'm needing it. I, sh I should mention that for me, when my anxiety is at its highest, when I'm feeling my worst, my reaction to that is to hide. It makes me absolutely exhausted. It makes me just want to cry. My reaction to it, my response to it, is to want to hide, to not deal with any of it, to walk away from it, just to retreat and be alone. And, you know, being an adult, that's, that's not always realistic. Okay, so say I woke up this morning and I my anxiety was high and it was just, you know, I just knew it was gonna be one of those days, a, a bad day. So what I would do, being that my natural inclination is to hide, to, to not deal, to just turn away from everything, I tell myself, I don't have to do anything today. I don't have to. I don't have to go to work today. I don't have to work out today. I don't have to run errands today. I don't have to get out of bed today. I tell myself that I don't actually have to do anything today. When it comes down to it, you don't. And that's the truth, you you don't. There will be consequences from not doing things, you know, especially if, if you have to go to work that day or if you're a parent and you have kids, if you have responsibilities, of course there's gonna be consequences, but ultimately you can, as an adult, make the decision to not do a damn thing. And so I tell myself that. I tell myself I don't have to do anything today. And I kind of just sit with that for a little bit. And for a few moments, that gives me so much relief, just that thought of being able to close my eyes and to hide away. And so I let myself sit and to just be at ease for a few moments. And then I will start to think about what happens if I don't do anything. You have to be very careful, okay, because in asking yourself that, your anxiety is going to run wild with that idea. If I don't do, if I don't do anything today, this is going to happen. I have to do this, and I have to do this. Otherwise, this will happen, and that's a spiral in itself. But you have to take this step by step. So let's start. What was the first one I said? I don't have to go to work today. So I start with that. I say, what would happen if I didn't go to work today? Well, I I wouldn't get paid. I would let down my coworkers. Uh, I would. You know, depending on what, what job you have and what kind of rules you have in place, you could get in trouble for calling in. So then I start thinking about, okay, well, why why are these things important to me? Why, why does this matter to me? Well, it's important for me to get paid because I, I need money. I, I like having money. I like to be able to buy things. I, I like to be able to buy food that I can eat. I like to be able to pay my bills. I have talked about my boyfriend here a couple times, so I, Jason and I, we, we always consider ourselves to be a team. I want to be able to be part of this team, to be a contributing member to our team, to be able to buy things and to contribute to our, our life together. So it's important to me to make money. It's important to me to not let down my coworkers because I, I really, as much as I will complain about my job, I appreciate the relationship that I have with my coworkers. I, I do want to be reliable in their eyes. I do want them to trust me and for me to not come into work and to make a habit of that, you know, I'm gonna lose their trust. They are going to think less of me and I, I don't want that. So it's, it's important to me 
being that I have to go to this job, I, I at least want to enjoy the people that I work with and to feel value, valued and to feel important to them and vice versa. So that, that is very important to me. I, I want to also, my, my employer to think that of me, my boss, my manager, supervisor, whatever, I want them to also think that of me. I want them to be able to trust me, to see someone who is reliable, who is an asset to, to their team, to the workplace. Those things are important to me. So when I start thinking those thoughts, I'm like, okay, I don't have to go to work today, but you know what? I kind of want to go to work today because those things are, are important to me. What was the next one I said? I don't have to work out today. Obviously, you know, skipping a day work, working out is not going to be a big deal. But for me, I, I look at the big picture and I say, I don't have to work out. I don't. But why is it important to me? Well, I, I work out because I, I love the the mental energy it gives to me. I love the confidence that it gives me. It makes me feel strong. It makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel capable. It gives me energy. It really does clear my mind. It makes me feel better physically and mentally. I, of course, like the aesthetic gains that come from it. It gives me a sense of identity. And those are all things that are very important to me. Those are all things that make me feel like myself and that make me feel like my best self. So no, I don't have to work out, but you know what, now that I think about it, I might want to work out. What was the next one here? I don't have to get out of bed today. Side note, sometimes that, that is something that you need from time to time, to just have a day where you veg out, where you hang out in bed, where you hang out on the couch, you watch Netflix, where you really don't do anything. So I think we all need a day like that. Again, big picture being that I, I can't make that decision every single day. I don't have to get out of bed today, but why Why is it important to me? Why, why do I want to? Well, if I lay in bed all day, I always have things going on in my life, little projects that I'm working on, YouTube videos that I'm creating, just little things that I like to do and to create that make me feel like myself, that again, give me that sense of identity that make me me. So choosing to stay in bed, I'm not gonna be able to do those things. And that feeling of accomplishment and doing things and working on things that I enjoy, and taking that away from myself is gonna make me feel worse. Uh, I, I like working on things that to me are important and to me are worthwhile, to, that make me happy. If I don't get out of bed today, things around the house aren't going to get done. Which again, big picture. One day of letting things slide is not the end of the world, but again, big picture. To me, having a clean house, clean, tidy house that smells good, to me feels like home. And to have a home that I like to be in and is warm and welcoming is very, very important to me. Even if it's just me and my boyfriend that get to experience that. You know, we don't have a lot of people over, so it's not like I'm necessarily creating like a cozy, homey feeling home for other people. I do it for us and for myself because to me, that is important to me. And if I choose to stay in bed all day, one, I'm missing out on this home that I'm creating, and two, I'm neglecting this home that I'm trying to create. Also, if I lay in bed all day, Jason goes to work. I lay in bed all day. That means my dogs are up all day by themselves. And as a dog mom, I think if you are a pet parent, it breaks your heart a little bit when you think about your pets being home alone. And my days that I have off and I am home and able to be with them, I, I interact with them. I try to make them a part of my day and me a part of theirs. We go for walks, we hang out, I talk to them all the time. <laughs> we have snacks, We I pick up their dog toys throughout the day and we play. I just try to involve them in my day as much as possible to give them life. And to me, that that's important. I love my dogs, they are my kids to me. And if I choose to lay in bed all day, they're gonna be out there by themselves. I'm gonna miss a day of being with them. And that's incredibly important to me. So this is something that, that I do regularly and it's just a quick exercise that I can do when all of a sudden I feel that anxiety take over me and that feeling, that desire to hide away feels like it's overcoming me. I do this exercise and it just calms me and it recenters me. It shifts my intention away from the I need to do these things to I want to do these things. They are important to me. When there are things that are, that are important to you, you, you see them differently. You think about them differently. They, they, you actually feel a little bit motivated and excited to do them because anytime something is important to you, you make time for it. You want to do it because it benefits you. It actually gives me a sense of control, again, because it gets me out of that mindset of I need to do all these things and be all these things for everyone else, and instead gives me back my control and makes me feel like, well, no, actually, I want to do all these things because it gives me this. I hope, I hope that all makes sense.
to, to utilize this yourself when you are feeling anxious. Tell yourself that you don't have to do anything. Or if it's something specific, you don't have to do X, whatever X is, whatever that specific thing is. And let yourself sit with that feeling for a little bit. What would it feel like not doing that? It's probably going to feel wonderful to have that thought. It's going to feel very relieving. Let yourself calm down and then start asking yourself, okay, well, what would happen if I didn't do that? Why is it important to me to do that? And hopefully you'll start this thought pattern that I just explained to you and hopefully it'll benefit you. So so I, th I think that's all that I will say about that. I hope that all made sense. Easy technique, that's one that has brought me a lot of relief over the years and is one that I continue to turn to. And like I said, I just wanted to share because I feel like if it, if it benefits me, it's gotta benefit someone else. And anxiety can be such a crippling, devastating thing to deal with. And I have had times in my life where it consumed my life, it controlled my life, and it's, it's hard to see a way out. When you have anxiety, your, your thoughts aren't, they aren't yours. And I like this exercise because it, like I said, it gives you back that control and has, this is something that has just really, really helped me. So, so if you try it out and it helps you, please let me know down below. If you have any tips that you use to relieve your anxiety, also let me know. Again, I hope that this video was helpful for you. I want you to know that I really appreciate your time watching today. I hope that you hit that subscribe button so you can come back next time. And until next time, I hope that you have a great day.